play Wild Thing with his old friend, Walter Mondale. Here we go. Hello, I'm Eddie Van Halen. Thank Hi, you. Hi, I'm Walter Mondale. I will not vote for you, Walter, because you're a stooge. Now look, I want your vote. I want your guitar solo on this I'll great I'll send you off on Wild Thing, Here we go. Walter. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That I mean, sounds like Geraldine for real. You can kinda. start it off, Walter. Okay, here we go. I'll let you start off, Walter. America stands tall, except in Lebanon, where Marines died, because Reagan couldn't build a wall. Stands tall in Nicaragua. Mercenary sleeves neutralize you in your sleep. And America stands tall. I don't know why they hate us so in Europe. It's not so hard to have a bomb in your front yard They do it in Kansas And America stands tall In Indochina United who stand Pillaging the land for Time Life books could go on and on and on Every time you hear a shot You know that America is not standing tall President Helms, take one. I'm the center of attention in the Congress. Cause I got the biggest mouth you'll ever hear. Every day my Nazi buddies call me up just to say hi. They know if there's trouble, I'll always take their side. Wind me up. Turn me on, I'm your senator It cost me 15 million, but wait, there's more When my six years are over, then I'll be really raising hell Sounds so sweet upon my lips President Helms I'd like to thank the man who once was the governor of California. Thanks to him, I've got me six more years. I don't need no Negroes, cause I've got me Rosie Greer. Jim Hunt better not try to run again, I got photos proving he's a queer. Wind me up, turn me on, I'm your senator. Oh, it cost me 15 million, but wait, there's more. When my term is over, I'll be really feeling well. Oh, sounds so sweet on any lips, President Helm. In a darkened movie theater sits a bunch of guys. Some are invalids, some are lonely. They have sex with their eyes, and now they're all under arrest. I said, please explain, I don't understand why I'm committing crimes against all women in the palm of my hand. Instead, I'll hold a picket sign. In Psycho, there's a lady in the shower. I say she's oppressed when she gets undressed. There's inequality in it, and now we gotta slip around. 
Cause there's not many movies they still let you see No more Alfred Hitchcock, no more Bella Lugosi You can still see Meryl Streep And now women all feel safe Women, women against pornography There's still nuclear weapons but you can't buy a Hustler magazine Pictures of the titty may blow somebody's mind But I gotta go now Jerry Falwell's calling on my other line. They locked up all the smut peddlers. Look how well it's worked. There's still violence. There's still cruelty. But there's no more women against pornography. Women. Women against pornography Aren't there still nuclear weapons But there's no more Hustler magazine A picture of a titty May blow somebody's mind I gotta go now Jerry Falwell's calling on my other line now under investigation or before the courts and I'll tell it just like it is. Do you like being a policeman, Joe? Sometimes, no. Sometimes it hurts. Why are you then? Because it's my profession. Kicking little people around. You consider somebody who sells narcotics as one of the little people, do you? Yeah, man. If somebody wants to smoke a little dope or drop a pill, who's the victim? The guy who's doing it. Now, shouldn't he have the right to do anything he wants with his own body? Man, it's a crime without a victim. When you say using dope is a crime without a victim, who's picking up the tab for all the lost wages, the stolen property, and the destroyed lives? How many overdoses have you seen come through your hospital, Barbara? Quite a few. How many die? Too many. Kids? Most of them. The county of Los Angeles is spending over a million dollars a month just handling kids who use and sell dope. Now, who's the victim? We are. All of us. Sergeant, I'd like to ask you a question. Okay, ask it. If you were the chief of police, how would you handle the narcotics problem? Pretty much the way it's being handled today. I disagree. We need tougher laws. We should really crack down on them. Maybe so. But half of you people in this room are in an uproar because I enforced one of the laws already on the books. Let's get to the bottom line here. The law, your law, tells us we're supposed to arrest people when they commit crimes. When they break those laws, we arrest them. The following is a true story. The names haven't been changed. They're not innocent. On the walls of the post office, there's photos of wanted crooks. Guys who held up liquor stores. Guys who cheated on the books. Somehow our most dangerous criminals completely get away. If you want to see their pictures, read the paper every day. Innocent till proven guilty, that's how we are protected. For some people, there's more. Not guilty when elected, if I only had power. To make the real arrests on the walls of my home would be a ten most wanted list. LBJ won't send your boys to do a job Asians could do. Some women lost their husbands before his crimes were through. Veterans have been deformed babies, wanted Agent Orange suit. But the ten most wanted criminals, they won't ever prosecute. Oh, the way they talk about JFK, you'd think he was some kind of saint. But when I was a little boy, him and Khrushchev made us all afraid. We cowered in the basement with our hands between our knees. They almost blew up the world, and we let them go scot-free. Nixon and Agnew both got in little jams. Some of their henchmen 
even went to jail. Now just imagine how happy most criminals would be getting thousands of dollars to philosophize on TV. When a crime boss is selected, they let the gangs decide, and our new number one criminal was chosen by a landslide. Just like they picked Nixon and believed in all his lies, every vote that cast for Reagan is an accomplice to his crimes. On the walls of the post office, there's photos of wanted crooks. Guys who held up all liquor stores. Guys who cheated on the books. Somehow our most dangerous criminals always get away. If you want to see their pictures, read the paper every day. Hi, this is Vice President George Bush. I just wish you could have seen our president landing on the beaches in Granada, carrying a six-pack of beer, and telling everybody all about the World Series. The invasion was scheduled for eight. We did coke all night, and got up late, and drank some coffee, did some speed, and hit the beach. The people here need freedom from oppression. Greeks from Granada thought we'd just drop in. We kicked some sand in a few faces and blew up a few places. When the bomb hit the hospital, I thought it was a joke. The pilot said, oops, let's have another joke. Nobody in there anyway but mental patients. Doctors, nurses. The president came around and bought some cases of brew. So the island's ours now, there's nothing left to do. Let's have a party. And maybe a little looting. Everybody gets a medal when we get home. <laughs> we kept the press out, they don't understand what it's like to be an American man. Some got drunk and some got sick and a couple fellows started a brand new kick. Beating up natives. The guys are just discouraged. They didn't get to kill any communists. The Statue of Liberty is gonna fly down for the week. The island's hers now. She wants a little peek. She wants to lay in the sand. Maybe get a tan. Greetings from Grenada. Wish you were here. Now, I'm not much on politics, but I sure know how to get my kicks and the way Reagan tells it, we ought to get with it. Make a little surprise visit to Nicaragua. Wouldn't that be fun? Greetings from Granada. I guess we won. Friend. The 
real estate agent. Now it's no mystery why a white family is moving in. Jesse Helms, U.S. Senate. Hi, this is Dr. Helms. I just want to say Governor Jim Hunt exercised negative political ad. He's going to add that since my husband Jesse wants to outlaw the birth control pill and the contraceptive. Well, my husband Jesse would never do that. He would just never, never do that. Never. To those who say have a happy new year, I have no fear. Cause we're all one In my heart we are a day Happy New Year They're all glad There's nothing that's sad And on the first day of all the brand new year I slept and slept And in my dreams Giant turtles roam the sky on oh, just for me and my girls The first one took such a long time She asked me why, she said no Then she told me I should go But I loved her so I stayed on through the years Next one was faster than dreams I won't forget Cause every breath Every twinkle in her eye Is part of you and I Are one happy new year
those who say have a happy new year I have no fear we're all one in my heart we are in peace happy new year they're all glad it's none that's sad
This is Eugene Tucker, and I'm uh, sorry, my tape recorder is not working. I'm going to try to get it fixed, and uh, I'll call it back. Okay, thanks, Ron. Well. to the audience and he said music is a hard enough trip without any distractions and I thought hard enough trip I was 22 years old I didn't know what the hell he was talking about you have no business feeling guilty right or not anyway I got <laughs> trying to rub off his spots. these kissing is no longer a game and by the tenth grade they are in each other's arms and they are petting <laughs> Thank you. 
say, Dad, uh, we're, we're, I just brought you down here to the studio on my show tonight to talk a little bit about music, and uh, I was wondering if you'd tell the people what your favorite record is. I hate music. No, but Dad, uh, there was just one record you used to play all the time when, when uh, I grew up around the house. Uh, what was the name of it? I don't have any records. You had this one, you used to put it on all the time. I don't listen to music. I never have. We didn't have a record player. I don't know what you're talking about. Now look, Dad, morning, noon, and night, 24 hours a day, I used to hear this music coming up from the downstairs. It is a very strange sound, sort of like the cry of a banshee soul lost in the wilderness. With the wind blowing. The wind blowing. And I walked across the ice. Good morning! Hey man, I just gotta say that you people <laughs> have gotta be the strongest bunch of people I ever saw. This is our second gig. This is the second time we've ever played in front of people, man. Mmm, bama, bama. She made a strong impression on me. You're really beautiful. Oh. No, you're really beautiful. I mean, really attractive. I mean, really attractive. about your love life. Did you meet anyone special in Germany? <laughs> no, you're really beautiful. Las Vegas for the wedding. 
for all the hard times I've been giving you. I had no idea. A gang of girls In colorful vests Is that it is intended to defeat Cowboy hats Walked in a bar in New Mexico in those early years, we got them all uniform, busy making things, rushing through every jerry or jail or wherever we could get them into, you know. At the counter. Wants to leave them alone. What I've learned might not apply to other people who are not living the way of life that I am. So uh, because of my age now and uh, the things that I've been through, the people and the situations that I've been exposed to, and, uh, they're searching for something. And I don't they're lonely and they're depressed a lot. At the counter.